back again with another video. I've got a few updates uh, for you, and we're also going to talk about another project which is sharing or share token. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so just a quick update on DMST that's DM Script. We talked about DM Script yesterday, and they put some great news out to say that they were going to have a huge announcement that is coming on the 13th of November, which is tomorrow. And also, um, I highlighted the fact that they have a collaboration with NASDAQ, and that November will be a bullish month for this token or this coin right here. Okay, as you can see, since then we have had a great upswing on that. This is the one day chart. I pointed out the fact that we had a large cup and handle and we've been waiting uh, about a week for this to break okay it has finally broken and it has reached this resistance at the top of the the local top area okay of the previous high um approximately anyway um at the moment okay so you see that volume is coming that looks bullish all right and um, of course there's more announcements to come tomorrow but um if we lower the time frame just so you can see um yeah i mean we were talking about it down here when I put, posted the video because we got a break out of this triangle and um, yeah it's definitely uh, performed as I expected it to all right guys whether we get a sustained pullback now and then another move to the upside whether it completely gets rejected or whatever we've seen this candle here which has rejected uh, been rejected off the uh, the, the um, previous resistance okay but we, we do look like we are getting some bullish activity over here and that is on the one hour all right but just for the sake of update that is dm script all right guys go back and watch yesterday's video on why i think that is bullish we also talked about fwt that's freeway token uh, from orbit aubit io okay and um obviously uh, this went up as well since yesterday i posted in the group that we had an inverse head and shoulders potentially this morning okay and we actually got a break out of that but it is facing some rejection at this level here because it is in price discovery at the moment all right guys so really hard to tell where this is going from here uh, whether it's going to continue to the downside or whether this green candle might be showing some signs of life to bring it back to the upside but um yeah, it does look like it's a little bit of a pullback and a lot of the times we see these come back strongly um, I'm waiting to see how this plays out. I'd like to see it get back above this level of resistance Now the line obviously obviously you can see the resistance line is not drawn from this top It's drawn from here only for the sake of the fact that it was a head and shoulders pattern. So if I adjust this Okay, it's not going to change much at all. Okay, it's still going to be the same resistance line that I'm waiting to break All right um, but yeah, if it does break and begin to hold some strength above this level, I think there's more upside for that. But I wouldn't rule out a, a bigger pullback um, um, and for this at the moment. All right, so that is Freeway Token. Okay, both were my picks of the day yesterday. All right, and they both played out bullish. Woke up this morning and I was happy to see some green in the market. Okay, so moving on now. Um, if you follow my videos from the beginning, you'll know that I was trading a lot on Bitmart, okay, and um, sharing or share token was one of the ones that we were looking at. I first discovered share ring down here, okay, and we saw a massive upswing for sharing back in the day, all right. Um, obviously, it's been a bit of a downtrend um, ever since, all right, but um, why do I think sharing is going up? Well, first of all, I think it's completely undervalued at the price that it's at at uh, 0.02 and a half cents okay you've seen a previous high around five cents okay so that will be the all-time high at the moment just under five cents all right but they just did put out a couple of announcements okay and they've constantly got announcements coming out sharing all right they've always got something going on but um we'll get into um, a little bit more about sharing afterwards as well but sharing basically they are being listed on uniswap now okay so you can purchase sharing on uniswap but not only that they are also being listed on qcoin from tomorrow okay uh 6 p.m utc plus eight okay so um yeah that's definitely bullish because qcoin is a second tier exchange so um i always thought it was a matter of time before qcoin actually got onto a good exchange uh sorry not qcoin and um, sharing got onto a good exchange you know because sharing is definitely 
Um, it does stand out to me as one of one of the best projects out there at the moment in terms of long-term potential. Okay, um, if you don't know anything about sharing, I do suggest you go and do your research because you might like what you see. Um, they've got things like um, electronic visas on arrival, um, where you know um, your, your visa will be on the blockchain and all that sort of stuff. So you haven't got to worry about all that palaver about getting visas sorted and stuff like that when you go on a holiday. Um, they've got um, they're talking about one ID on the blockchain where you don't need to have your passport. You don't need to have your your IDs with you, and it's, uh, it's it makes it almost impossible for fraud to, to take place in in terms of identity fraud, having your ID stored on the blockchain, um, and therefore not needing it. Like let's say for example, if you were out and um, you and your friends were kind of like uh, free spirits or um, socialites, and you decide to say, you know what, why don't we just take a trip to Paris, or why don't we just jump on an airplane and go to Bermuda or something like that right I don't know whether you need a visa for these places to be honest but you know if you wanted to do that it's, it's like you won't even have to uh, uh, go through the whole visa process the way you normally do it and you won't need to have your ID with you because your ID is stored on the blockchain so you can access your ID from anywhere for example you don't really need to carry your passport around with you all right um, I don't know if I'm getting that right, but you know, it, it does sound like something that would be very uh, convenient, um, especially in today's day and age. You know, um, a lot of things are paperless now. There's everything's online. You know, why can't we have our ID online and all that sort of stuff? Okay, so um, yeah, and that obviously it prevents you from losing it as well, and it prevents people from finding it and you know, um, um, assuming your identity. All that sort of stuff okay uh, go and check out sharing all right so share sharing um, their token is called the SHR token it's a share token here but um, it's actually the sharing network all right the circulating supply is 2.4 billion okay the total supply is 4.3 billion or just under 4.4 billion market cap is currently at 58 million and we first discovered this under 10 million like some time ago okay i believe it was way under 10 million we're talking like 4 million or something like that all right so share token has definitely been a good performer over its time okay it's all time low is all the way at 0 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.008787 dollars okay all time high is around 5 cents as you can see here okay so um you know it's up 27000 just under 28000% in 9 months all right so that is obviously, you know, what, what you call, you know, a, a good performer, right? Okay, it's currently on Binance Dex, all right? It's on Bitmark, it's on Bitcom, Uniswap, Probit, and of course now Qcoin as of tomorrow. Okay, so I definitely think that's a good pick. Um, check out the website, all right? Um, it has been updated since I um, um, first discovered it. All right, guys, but like, like I said, they've got the sharing ID. Right, they've got an app which obviously you can download on Apple and, and Play Store. You've got a sharing shop, okay, some sort of like Amazon, and um, you know they they're doing deliveries in like deliveries in like a day or something like that. And that launch when COVID first came out, when, when COVID first hit, and uh, you know obviously it's more convenient to, to be able to have your groceries delivered. But this is Australia based, okay. I'm not I'm not sure whether you can uh, access sharing shop in any other areas at the moment. I think maybe just Australia and Thailand. And uh, these people have like a presence in like the, the Far East, you know. Um, the founder of sharing, Timothy Bolts, his name is, or B-O-S, however you pronounce that right. So he is uh, like the founder of an insurance company, uh, or no, no, sorry, a car rental company called Kiaz or Keys, K-E-A-Z okay and that's a very successful company um all the people involved in sharing are very um prominent people who have lots of experience in business all right so they're not kids trying to start something all right they're they're they're, they're seasoned entrepreneurs that know what they're doing in terms of business i believe the um the, the founder of sharing recently um just got an award for the founder of the year okay so yeah definitely um something something to look into if you don't know about sharing i don't want to do a whole review on sharing because there's reviews that i've done on it in the past okay so you can go through my my video library and you can actually um you know look at what the, some of the things that i've said about sharing they do stuff like hotel and short stay accommodation um if, if you know what travala.com is all right they're similar to travala all right but um, yeah, I think they've definitely got a, a bright future. 
uh, sharing definitely um i don't think it's going to disappear all right another thing i will say is that they do have um a partnership with the i believe the thailand government or something like that all right and um they've uh, they're, 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 there's there's something to do with mandatory um uh, it, it would be mandatory to use their service in a certain country i believe it's thailand okay and um yeah i think that's all to do with the visas all right the the, the electronic visa on arrival and all that sort of stuff okay so that is sharing like i said i'm not going to do a big um, view on it all right guys i'll probably put a, a card up in the top corner so you can see um previous videos on sharing all right it does look like fwt is kind of falling a little bit more okay um yes yeah, so i think there could potentially be some more downside for fwt whether you see that as an opportunity to pick up some cheap freeway tokens or whether you see it as a, an opportunity to take profit if you're in it at the moment, okay? I don't like to ride downtrends, right? I like to wait, um, take profit, okay? And then wait to see um, if it can continue, take a safer entry. It might not be a better entry, but a safer entry, I, I will never argue with, okay? So that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Crypto Lightsaber. You can also become a Patreon. And that gets you access to the Telegram group, Instagram, at Liam Temple. And I'll see you in the next video.